VR is something that I've been really afraid to try. Truly, it's one of those situations where I was worried that I was going to get sick or that it would hurt my eyes. I've actually been very vocal about that fact on different podcasts and between conversations I've had with fellow YouTubers and streamers. Well, the folks at Oculus found out about this and they sent me an Oculus Rift Plus Touch controllers and asked me to make a video about my experience. So, I kind of figured, why not? Here's my first experience, not just with an Oculus, but with VR. So the good guys at Oculus sent me a Oculus for free with the touch controller. So obviously this is a sponsored video. If you are interested in buying an Oculus, click the link in the description below. There will be a bunch of information too, also about the controllers, how they work, how to set up, all that great stuff. And uh, buying an Oculus through the link below also helps us, so help us help you and vice versa. And with that said, let's talk about the quality of the Oculus itself. So out the gate, the build of everything, the quality, the textures, the way that it feels, I'm super impressed. Everything feels brand new. And I know that's such a weird thing to hear and say about something like the Oculus, right? But when you buy something new, let's say like a PC or a car or like a gaming console, you know, you want to revel in the fact that yes, it is new and it feels new and it feels like, you know, a brand new piece of technology that's out there for the first time. And all this stuff is definitely embodied in the Oculus and the touch controllers. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you handle these things with care and uh, make sure that you wash your hands to make sure that you don't get them dirty or you smudge or do any kind of weird things. Obviously, you want to take care of your your belongings, and you definitely should take care of the Oculus and the touch controllers. So when you're not playing the Oculus and you're just getting ready to sit down and set up, the headset definitely sits comfortable on your head with easy adjustable straps. So, uh, you know, you can kind of see that you can do this. Velcro on both sides and as well as on top, you can kind of stretch it out to adjust for your eyes. There's a button on the bottom to check out the lens clarification. So if your things are out of focus and you're struggling with it, you can use this to adjust the focus accordingly. Everyone's head is obviously different and the Oculus is prepared to kind of handle those changes and needs as they come, which is super awesome. Setting up the Oculus itself takes generally about 15 minutes to an hour. And trust me, it's warranted because you'll want to make sure that you've got everything set up as perfect as you can. Uh, the sensors are very sensitive and you want to make sure that they are good to go across the board or else you're going to have a hard time playing with it. Speaking of which, in the box I received, we have two sensors right here. This area, or the, the sensors are designed to detect your surface area around you to make sure that it knows where you're sitting and where you're playing. Um, in the box, you also get a Xbox One controller and PC adapter uh, for being able to play games that don't necessarily require the touch controllers because the touch controllers are kind of a newer thing but and not everyone has access to develop these things they're, they're kind of rolling them out as they go along um and the touch controllers and the touch controllers at first i'll admit they definitely at first felt weird because i felt like i was kind of taking the xbox one controller and tearing it apart and making it more uh accessible to the motion aspect of the oculus but once I set everything up, uh, even demoing and setting up the calibration for the Oculus itself was a lot of fun. And you'll see in the first few moments of turning this thing on that this feels very special. The accuracy that comes along with the touch controllers, depending on how your setup is, is fascinating. Reaching out with your hand, grabbing items, letting go of things, throwing things, tossing them in the air lightly. Everything is as if my motions actually made a difference, which to me amounts to a crazy amount of detail. Okay, so instead of diving into a bunch of different games and changing gears all the time, I decided to make this video about one in particular, Robo Recall. Made by Epic Games, this game is all about combat, and honestly, it looks super sick. I live streamed my first time playing through it, and my first impression? What's up? Let's go! Oh. You play as Agent 34, who just got a promotion as a recall specialist for the RoboReady Corporation. The human race has created sentient robots who start malfunctioning and suddenly are plaguing the city with violence and destruction. As Agent 34, it's your job to recall all the robots. And yes, recalling a robot doesn't mean repairing it or sending it back to its manufacturer. 
In layman's terms, time to destroy the robots. All the robots. The game's design is simple and the execution is impeccable to the look and touch. In the first few moments of the game, you'll have the same reaction I had. Yeah, I was terrified at first, but once I learned how to play, I got my sweet, sweet revenge. In order to move in the game, you can use either analog sticks on both of the touch controllers to move around. This blue laser light indicator determines where you'll actually move to. You'll teleport from where you currently are to wherever you let go. You can also determine what direction you're facing by simply rotating the sticks accordingly. This movement is by far the most complicated thing about the game because at first, you'll instinctually want to move the sticks to run, but once you get the hang of it, oh man, you can pull off some insane moves. But to go along with pointing to where you want to move to, whenever the pointer indicator is out, time will slow down. You can use this function to your advantage quite a lot. So as Agent 34, you have the ability to grab objects. Robots technically are objects, so, you can grab the robots, every single one. But then you can turn up the action by tearing their limbs off. Reach out, grab their bodies, tear off their heads, and use their body as a shield for oncoming fire. Sounds gruesome? Oh baby, it gets better when you get good at teleporting. You can teleport behind any robot, pick them up from behind, rip them to shreds limb from limb, God, I know it sounds graphic, but holy crap, it feels cool. Every single stage has several obstacles that you must overcome. At first, you'll start out shooting and ripping apart all the robots that come your way. But then you'll reach a point where a scripted event takes place, and you'll be given some constraints. Recall 20 robots in two minutes, protect the robo waypoint for two minutes, or throw the robots into the recall portal. The best part about robo recall is the score satisfaction you get. Every time you kill a robot, depending on the current stack multiplier and how you kill them, will give you a large score and a tagline for how the robot died. This alone will make you want to experiment across the board with how and what to kill each robot with. You'll be rocking out the entire goddamn time. The sound design for Robo Recall is incredible and smart. The robots are super dumb but really funny, and depending on what they say, you'll know exactly where they are or what they're doing at any given moment. Take the comedy of the robots with that hyper stylistic rock and roll and add some robo destruction and you've got yourself a grand old time. Let's talk about guns. Lots and lots of guns. Not so much the diversity, but the amount of guns you'll be using and seeing on screen. Starting out, you'll have access to four guns. Two on your gun holster around your waist and two attached to your back. First off, the motion to grab these guns immediately makes you feel like an action hero. Using the inner trigger, you can grab the guns from either your waist or behind your back and start firing away. And when you run out of ammo, simply drop the guns and reach back to your waist or your back once again. Your guns do have a cooldown, but the enemies you fight also have guns, which means you can do some awesome moves like teleport behind an enemy, shoot him in the back of the head, grab their gun, and continue the mayhem. Your starting guns include two pistols and two shotguns. You can improve your weapons in two ways. One, you can level up your agent. Every time you beat a level, depending on your score, you'll receive a lot of experience. The more levels you gain, the more permanent perks you get, such as cooldown and recoil reductions on guns, increasing the percentage of multiplier bonuses when chaining kills together, and even access to new types of guns, such as a revolver and the plasma rifle. And two, Every stage you play on Robo Recall has five five-star objectives that are tasks. Usually, the first three tasks on every stage involves getting a high score, and the score is actually, in fact, high. These score attack objectives are hard, in fact, some being in the two to three million point range. Here's a tip I discovered while playing. Your score multiplier meter goes up whenever guys are destroyed, right? Well, whenever you rip someone's head off or their limbs, you'll actually be rewarded with a lot more of a multiplier, and as long as you keep moving and doing so, you can rank up a high multiplier real quick. The other two-star objectives get real fun and crazy, such as grabbing bullets and throwing them back at the enemies, or only doing physical kills via Kung Fu Grip. What do the stars do? Whenever you get enough stars, you'll either unlock another permanent perk or you'll get a gun token. These tokens will let you upgrade whatever part of that gun token you'd like. 
You can upgrade the gun ammo, add a laser sight, a little LED scope, reduce the recoil reduction, or even add special attributes to your guns. But the special attribute upgrades are reserved for when you fully upgraded a gun. For example, I fully upgraded the pistols, which in turn made them automatic weapons. And eventually, the shotgun gets turned into rockets. That's going to be sweet! Now, the biggest issue with VR that people have voiced their concerns about are feeling dizzy or lightheaded from motion sickness, the glass on the inside fogging up from consistent use, and the real struggle of moving around in games. After playing Robo Recall for 5 hours straight on stream and then playing it additionally for another 15 hours, I can honestly say that I didn't really experience most of these issues. The most common issue I had was with the glass within the inside of the Oculus itself. It would sometimes get out of focus, but that's from me taking the Oculus on and off several times to either re-chat or stop the recording process. So with regard to Robo Recall, the movement mechanic, while I loved it, definitely would overwhelm me from time to time. You're in the thick of it, trying to wipe everything out, running out of ammo, switching weapons, and you're trying to avoid death when suddenly you nervously teleport yourself to a wall and you can't see. This happened a lot more than I'd like to admit, and there isn't really a function to do a quick turnaround in any direction. So you kind of aimlessly hope that you're pointing the trigger somewhere and... Oh, yes, okay, there, I'm around, I'm around the wall. Overall, I was blown the hell away at both the Oculus and Robo Recall. I went on to play Super Hot VR and Unspoken, and both games were really fun too. As someone who was once super skeptical about VR, I am floored at the progress of how far Oculus has come, and I am very excited to see where it's headed. For more information on the Oculus and the Oculus Touch controllers, click the link in the description below. Once again, thank you to Oculus for this badass opportunity, and I hope you guys end up getting one too. That's it, that's all, and I'll see you guys next time.